वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टू पावर प्लांट गुरु यूट्यूब चैनल फ्रेंड्स आई एम ए मैकेनिकल इंजीनियर विद अराउंड ट्वेंटी ईयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस इन द फील्ड ऑफ पावर प्लांट एंड आई यूज टू क्रिएट स्मॉल फंडामेंटल नॉलेज सीरीज वीडियोस फॉर पावर प्लांट इंजीनियर्स वी आल्सो रन डाउट क्लियरिंग सेशंस ऑन वीकेंड्स सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रीच एस यू कैन रीच एस थ्रू कमेंट सेक्शन एंड ज्वाइन आवर वीकेंड क्लासेस let us continue to watch our today's video so hello friends uh, in this uh, video we are going to cover how to calculate a important kpi of gas turbine which is compressor efficiency if we uh, all know that uh, gas turbine comprises of uh, uh, if we say three uh, major uh, component uh, uh, which we can say is like turbine uh, sorry compressor turbine and generator and uh, turbine is a equipment which generate uh, mechanical uh, energy or we can say power it's it's a generator power and because uh, fuel uh, energy is converted into that kind of power now uh, what uh, generators does generator convert uh, into electrical energy but whatever turbine is generating that is not all going to be generator major consumption of that power is happening in uh, uh your compressor so 65% approximately of total power is covered into your uh, compressor whatever turbine generate if turbine generate 100 megawatt so 65 megawatt is going into compressor 35 megawatt is only your uh, uh, available for generator to generate the electrical power so this is a important point uh, which, which you should uh, understand and to know that how your compressor is uh, performing you have to calculate your polytropic efficiency so this is a parameter which you should calculate or regularly or often to know how your perform compressor is performing and there is another concept that uh, your water wash so water wash most of the you may be uh, already aware so water wash what we do so uh, let's say there is a compressor compressor means uh, this kind of symbolic representation where uh, air goes in at atmospheric pressure and compressed air goes out in case of gas turbine maybe 11 to 13 uh, compression Uh, ratio may be there so what it happens that lot of air is push into this uh, compressor plates so this brings some dirt dust aerosols etc and these keeps on depositing on these plates so the plate profile is getting changed and that is why your compressor efficiency is deteriorating day by day to do that to 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 uh, take care of that this water wash activity is carried out and in that there is a detergent uh, and process i think uh, i will make another video detailed video on water wash so now just i'm explaining how the detailed concept uh, of uh, efficiency calculation should come before and after that is why this is uh, here so uh, once you do that water wash uh, washing of these compressor plates so you can compare that how your water wash is effective so to how to do that uh, you can calculate polytropic efficiency before water wash and after water wash and that is how you will get the difference to understand how my compressor is behaving before and after water wash what is the effectiveness of this water wash activity which we carried out to do that uh, you need uh, this formula so which is uh, gamma minus 1 divided by gamma 
multiplied by uh, your logarithmic of discharge pressure by suction pressure. So discharge pressure is compressor uh, outlet, outlet pressure. Suction pressure is your ambient or atmosphere. Discharge temperature, uh, you know, it is CTD. And uh, this suction temperature is again ambient. So, whatever is change uh, after water wash, this thing will only change significantly. Discharge pressure, you will see some improved discharge pressure. So, that is how you will see. So, let us calculate this and uh, with one example and understand. So, we are taking a case of a turbine where if you see, uh, if we put uh, values in these formula. So, one important thing you should know that whatever temperature you will put, it has to be in Kelvin. Kelvin means whatever degree Celsius you are seeing on your uh, maybe uh, plus 273. So, that will give you is your Kelvin. So, I am taking an example where uh, the discharge temperature is 272, uh, sorry, discharge temperature is 614 degree Kelvin and suction temperature is 306 degree Kelvin and uh, uh, turbine compressor outlet pressure is 7.84 bar and ambient pressure I have taken a standard one. So, how do you do it uh, calculation? So, uh, this gamma. Gamma is uh, 1.4 for air. It is a parameter a property which may be different for different gases. So, here we are handling uh, uh, your uh, air. So, this is 1.4. So, 1.4 minus 1 divided by 1.4 multiply by log of 7.84 divided by 1.03. 7.84 is what your discharge pressure, 1.03 is what your suction, temp suction pressure and it has to be divided by log of for your uh, discharge temperature which is 614 and inlet pressure which is 306 degrees Celsius uh, Kelvin. So, if you do it, then it is like uh, this part is uh, your 0.286, this part is 0.2046 and this is 0.696. And uh, this is this is this will come as uh, 0.84. And if you have to calculate in percentage, you have to multiply 500. So then you will get this efficiency. So this is your compressor efficiency. And uh, uh, this efficiency is before the water wash. Let us calculate this same uh, efficiency after water wash. Uh, we uh, what the readings are there based on that we will calculate. So, a offline water wash was carried out and if you see the, the temperature, there is no significant uh, difference in temperature. You see uh, the temperature seems to be fairly same, but the readings after water wash is changing in your uh, discharge pressure significantly and in the pressure uh, it will remain constant because it is atmospheric. So, by the same formula, if you calculate, uh, here the value will change and that is how 0.286 multiplied by 2.05 divided by 0.690 and the here it uh, will come to 0.846 and if you multiply by 100, you will see this 84.65. So, if you see 84.02 was uh, before water wash and 84.65 is after water wash. So, this is the improvement in your turbine compressor efficiency, which is also known from here. The earlier 7.86 uh, was there. Now, you have 8.8 .8 bar. This is how you can see how much your compressor has improved. And if your compressor efficiency is improved, that means the work done by compressor in the same amount of energy will be reduced. So, your turbine is producing let us say 100 megawatt. Earlier compressor was consuming 65 megawatt. So, maybe it may consume with the improved, improved efficiency, it may consume 
it is 62, 63 megawatt. So, 1 or 2 megawatt, I am taking an example that is not a number to quote. So, this is how your uh, efficiency improves. Yeah. So, any questions or any comments if you want to make, you can make in comment section. So, this video is uh, to describe the concept of water wash and how to understand what is there, how to understand the improvement. Yeah, thank you for uh, watching this video. Thank you very much.